This week, I've been building Note App with React.js. So it's like playing Lego. version of Note app so for today let's call it that day this app uh, with the notes is like a short app to practice I've noticed that react has been changing really quickly I mean the tutorial was from this year and uh, some of the uh, some of the comments some of the methods uh, were uh, outdated I want to style it a bit more uh, because the basic functionality is there so I will come back to it tomorrow. because I just found out that there's first 100 subscribers to my channel. It's pretty important uh, because, you know, I haven't been a vlogger before and uh, the aim of this vlog is not to be a vlogger but to share the journey, to share the story and to motivate others to learn to code and also to motivate myself because I'm taking a lot from your feedback, from your uh, from your support. The thing is that uh, it's better to create for people than to create for just only for yourself because I also take a lot of feedback, a lot of motivation, a lot of uh, consejos in español, uh, a lot of uh, advice uh, from you. I also had some voices from you that uh, what I show is helpful, is motivating also for you. I love feedback or I would say it even better, I like feed forward. So I don't like feedback, so things that are just only based on feelings um, and they don't give any reasoning. I like feedback or even better feed forward, which is a kind of feedback that, that, that gives you also the justification and makes you move forward. This feed forward is a kind of feedback for me that that is aimed to make a person to whom you give it uh, develop, to go farther, to motivate this person and I love it, so I love this constructive feedback because it makes me grow, it makes me get motivated even more to what I'm doing. It's Thursday. Yesterday in the evening I was fighting with Modernizer and my uh, new app. I wanted to have the notes draggable but uh, on mobile it was a bit of a problem because uh, this draggable uh, destroyed the functionality of the buttons that were working on hover. It's uh, just the app for me for practicing so I hope it's enough for now and I will continue on adding other functionalities.
great news to share with you. I was chosen as mentee to a Tech Leaders program. This is the program organized by the Polish chapter of Women in Technology and I'm really excited to take part in it. So I was chosen from hundreds of people who wanted to become a mentee. As my mentor I chose Eva and I hope to uh, talk with her really soon. And the program is totally for free for us when it comes to mentees and I will have four months of work with Eva uh, and I want to focus on JavaScript with her. And uh, I'm really excited because as I read she's also interested in design and, and she also programs a lot in JavaScript. So I hope that uh, these four months uh, will be really, really uh, productive and I hope I will develop simply faster having this kind of mentor. Uh, so it's like a gift, like a gift that I got. <laughs> We have Thursday in the evening. This is how the app looks right now. Uh, you can drag and drop the notes. You can edit them. As you see, when they are shorter, they do not have this ellipsis here. Uh, when they are longer than 30 um, characters, they got a ellipsis. So I can drag and drop the notes. I can delete them, I can edit them, save the changes. I can also clean the board and add just only my notes. As you see, when I add a new note, in order to differentiate it, it from the crowd, it has got different color, but when I added it, the font color is the same as the rest of notes. So this brownish color is just only for the state when a note hasn't been changed yet, and it's a new note. The new notes are distributed randomly, so in order to find it on a huge screen, it's better to, to have a different color. I can clean the board and I can add just only my notes. On mobile, the position of the buttons is an easy to touch area, so it's at the bottom. You can also add a note, delete a note, uh, or edit it. It's just emulation here, but it shows what I mean. And, and you can clean the board. To make this work, I commissioned it a few times on GitHub this week and I started with setup of React and um, started with um, setting up the nodes and basic functionalities. I started building this um, app using the tutorial. Uh, however, I added uh, also additional functionalities like cleaning the board, or um, optimizing the performance or styling it up differently. I also played with set index of them uh, because I wanted to make it more real. Um, and if you take something from the bottom, it should appear at the top if you place it here. I will leave this up for the time being. Um, of course, you can add a lot of additional functionalities here or customization for users. But uh, I won't do it now um, the, because the most important aim in it was practicing components, states, um, and generally doing the app in React.js. This week I was mostly focused on React.js and building the Node app. I was also doing some challenges from Free Code Camp Map. I've been also learning a bit more about uh, build and install tools. I know it needs much more practice and using it in the projects. But at least right now I differentiate them more into, into install and build. So into those who run the tasks for you and into those that just only install the stuff for you. Some of them are really complex and I don't need them right now for my projects that are quite small. Uh, but I got a better knowledge of what is for what. 
practice makes perfect. So while using them, I hope to learn the most. Next week, I'm going to focus on another tutorial uh, connected with React and I want to build another small React app uh, in order to practice. Next week, we are also having the meetup of Frontend Malaga and I hope to learn a lot about uh, marrying SVG with D3.js. Keep on doing, stay motivated and see you next week. I almost forgot, subscribe!